चपेट मारती बोलूंगी तो हेडलाइन नहीं जाएगी अमेठी के हो तो तुम पूछो मैं अभी तुम्हारे लिए जैन जी मिले नहीं पूछो अमेठी से नहीं हो मुझे नहीं सीखना तुमसे दे डिड ट्राई टू चेंज तुलसी दे डिड ट्राई टू ओपन दैट डो विथ समी एल्स पेरेंटली नो बड़ी वॉक डेड Hi ma'am thank Hello. you so much for doing this and for sparing you your time you did not give me any job <laughs> so let's it's not true. lie to everybody who's listening or everybody who's watching i didn't you know we were um, kind of of course going over your history and now you've had a career of about two and a half decades across then make you sound so young i'm you so you are young you're but you started me. so young you started yeah. thank very you for doing young. this to me for telling the world how old i am <laughs> But two and a half decades in two cities and two very very different career paths. Not two cities. In fact, I've had the privilege of being in every district of our country. Oh wow! And every city in this country. Hmm. So uh, I think predominantly for work, uh, people have seen me oscillate between Delhi, Mumbai, but my work in the political organisation has taken me to every part of the country. I can imagine. Um, I've had the privilege of travelling the entire northeast by car. Wow. Um, by car, I've covered the state of Maharashtra, Gujarat, Rajasthan, of course Delhi, Uttar Pradesh, and Uttarakhand. But I've been to every nook and corner of Jharkhand, Chhattisgarh, Bihar. So yeah, I've been everywhere. Wow. That's amazing. No, we are very, very inspired by that. But if you had to pick between Delhi and Bombay, who, what city do you vibe with more? I actually, I'm so overwhelmed with so much that I want to do hmm. that what matters for me is the opportunity and the people. I vibe very little with people who have a different uh, viewpoint in life, which is very siloed. And I think that if at the age that your parents are at and I'm at. if you can still keep the child in you alive it doesn't mm. matter where you are mm. what matters is what are the kind of people you are with mm. so my crazy in the family is complemented by a husband who's very very accepting of my adventures mm. because being on an adventure means that you don't go on an adventure alone yeah you know you drag your family your friends along with you because um, for every decision that you take there's a repercussion good or bad hmm. uh nice or ugly and uh, you presume at times that you are going through it alone but your family your close friends they watch you go through a lot of um ups and downs in life yeah they are very very accepting of the fact that you have this tendency to speak your mind and get into trouble for it yeah and they still accept you unconditionally uh i think that is the greatest blessing so the for me uh, the city has never been a dominant uh, choice hmm. in terms of the presence of situations in my life uh, what has been of great meaning is the kind of people i connect with so it doesn't matter where i'm at and that's amazing you can be home everywhere then yes my people make me be at home everywhere and that's amazing so ma'am in your opinion what does it mean to be a woman please don't go that western concept of what <laughs> define a woman we all know what a woman is all about i think that um, we have actually moved generations uh, on this kind of a conversation if you ask my mother's generation they had a different approach towards gender they had a different response from society on the issues of gender uh then let's say coming to my generation and then let's say transitioning to yours or my daughter's generation it's a different ball game altogether my mother's generation had people who denied let's say women an equal opportunity to compete uh and especially in specific fields which had a lot of money a lot of power uh which was inclined towards sciences and enterprise my generation um was lucky enough to learn from the outcomes of her generation hmm. know which battles to strategically pick which to win and not announce our win and then which battles to take to heart after failure but still go back up again your generation or my daughter's generation has a different uh, challenge or a different pathway altogether i think the greatest the service we do to the issue of gender is we presume that what is true for you has to be true for me just because i'm a woman yeah 
that in our country especially the issues with regards to womanhood or gender changes from generation to generation from geography to geography Correct. we have to be very mindful of that my issues will be different from that of a woman in a joint family yeah my issues will be different from that of a woman who's divorced yeah or my issues will be different from that of a woman who's never gotten married or never had kids so i think you can't generalize oh you're a woman hence this has to be the cultural context with which one has to view you yeah okay so ekta kapoor once famously said about this and i'm going to read it she said when she opens the door mm. india decides to enter and i think this continues to hold true not just for your character but you as well you know what is interesting is that they changed to open the door <laughs> they brought in another actor you know people who presume that acha ye khol rahe darwaza koi bhi kholega to koi bhi dekhega i'm i'm saying this because when it happened and it happens to everybody who succeeds uh, you come to a point in time where people think that your success should not be attributed to you hmm. that it is not unique to you as a talent that others had so much to do about your success that it's a surprise that you think you can succeed alone yeah that is the one aspect which happens with women alone hmm when men have to succeed you never see so many people getting thanked it's you know true. when women have to succeed and when women have to be adorned with a prize for their success they will thank everybody yeah and i used to have this very bad habit of saying okay my mom thank you and uh my kids thank you my husband thank you and that's it thank you hmm. and people say aapke paas lambi list nahi hai who is responsible for your success i am yeah of course and i think that is the one conversation we should have with every woman with every girl to say that when you take life's decisions uh why should you take it not because you mean disrespect to your elders not because you mean disrespect to people you love but because we have to recognize the fact that every decision has an outcome which you have to bear correct absolutely and i've always said this to even my parents when i was a kid that i'm going to take responsibility for what i do i'd rather pay a price for my decision than somebody else's absolutely i couldn't agree so more. they did try to change tulsi well but there's only one and uh, they did try to <laughs> open that door with somebody else <laughs> Apparently nobody walked in. Yeah, well, nobody did. Nobody we were asked. No, I think that there is a relationship that happened with the audience. And uh I think the uh actor part of my journey cannot be attributed as a success only to me. The fact that the country could find resonance in what I was doing and became a partner in my journey, you know. Yeah. And many people I remember used to meet me off screen and say, "Aap bilkul waisi ho jaise aap screen pe ho I, it was a conscious decision to make sure that i do not uh, differ in my approach to life as a character i wanted to play the character as close to what i was in real life so that when people met me i did not come across as an element of surprise that oh acha she is something different on screen and not that nice My nanu was so devoted. He used to watch it twice a day. He used to watch the rerun in the afternoon, also in case he missed like one nuance of the show. And I think that I think that that then translates into an emotion rather than a project. Correct. And it's an emotion that will resonate over generations because there have been many projects which have been you know super hits and uh, people claiming I'm number one. Our project was number one for a decade. Yeah. Then recently had a rerun. and people like after bade khush ho gaye rerun ho raha hai maine kaha main bahut khush hu but please remember that none of the actors or the production house gets paid for rerun <laughs> <laughs> so when a technician watches his or her work yeah. they're like are yaar wo kab aa rahe hain humko kuch nahi milega but that's the that's the nature of the beast in in media yeah i mean uh, but for me the biggest takeaway were two things one is that audience that has stayed with me three to four generations and the second the friendships i had with my technician crews hmm so i used to do union bazi with my sound guy my light guy <laughs> my camera person uh, we used to do uh, we used to be in cahoots with the production wala with the spot boy apart from the actors everybody else was a gang and That's i think that that is what made my space of work Uh, a great place to go to you can't consistently go every day if you don't enjoy it yes right? you have i mean i went there for 8 years straight 
Wow. And uh, I mean, if you picked a fight with my technician, that means you picked a fight with me. So we used to just, I mean, literally we used to have Shobha Kapoor and say, "Tum log kya kar rahe ho? Gang up ho rahe ho?" I'm like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? So, if for me, chai hai, I'm holding a cup of tea, but that's because everybody's had chai coffee already. Yeah. So, course. we should do that. And I think that is some of the most fantastic memories I have from work. Yeah. So, can you tell us a little about what the last day of shoot was like for you? Was it emotional? Was it like, no. it's been so many I years think that that is the other problem that we have. We don't know how to let go. And I'm very good at letting go. That's I a superpower. Think, I think that you should be grateful for opportunities. You should be grateful if you have small successes or big successes. You should learn from your failures, your mistakes and get back right up. Because you're human and everybody makes mistakes. Yeah. If there are people who you love or you work with, you need to find a large heart enough in you to be forgiving of other people's faux pas because you would expect the same from people that you've been with. So, um, I am not one of those people who will clutch it to my chest and ball away to glory forever. Even when I won a Métis, I remember the day of the counting, I knew that we won the election. But I just, six in the morning, everybody got ready and everybody ran to the counting center. I just stayed back in my room. I put on the music, I put on my airport, my uh, whatever, and I, I listened to music from six in the morning till... About 5 o'clock, 4.35 and I had Arnab Goswami call and shout at me. <laughs> because I was not coming out and I was not giving anybody any interview. And Rahul Gandhi had just conceded that, okay, I'm defeated. Yeah. And everybody's like, where is Smriti Rani? And I was happily sitting in a room listening to music. They're like, you're out of your mind. But that was a landslide win. Like that must have been really... Yeah, but I think that is Bani a part of letting go, right? Mm -hmm. The whole five years was my journey of trying to win an election. Okay, we won it. Okay, now move on. Mm. You you won not so that you can do this grand celebration. You won because people expect you to get to work. Yeah. So for me, it was there was no victory to lose, nothing. Yeah. yeah. Get to work. Yeah. Speaking of Arnab Goswami, he's a very verbose anchor and we know that. You managed to shut him up on his I, show. Yes, I outshout him at times. Yeah. Which is not a happy thing for my family. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody outshouts Arna Goswami. But did you get like thank you calls from other panelists who were like thank you for representing us? No, and no, I think that he's very, very um, effusive. He is very, very passionate about what he yeah. does. And he and I go at each other. We are at loggerheads on many issues. But we've been media colleagues for two decades now. Yeah. So I think that you need not conform yourself to somebody's thought process. You can defer, but do it respectfully. And you can still survive with having differences of opinion, different ideologies. As long as you know how to carry out a conversation when you say your piece, the other says theirs. And you can be respectful towards each other. And I think it's not only applicable to media, it's applicable to life. Yeah, of course. It'll be very boring if everybody agrees with everybody. Everybody can't agree with everybody. No, and you should have the capacity to take that punch when people don't agree with you and what you don't agree with gets done. Yeah. And what you want done doesn't get done. Yeah. That's the toughest thing for people to do. Absolutely. So we are very interested in actually asking you, you know, why did you choose politics? And was the journey I actually, Bani, was when I was 23, I was the USAID ambassador to India on the WHO program for ORS and uh, during my tenureship as the WHO ambassador to India uh, for the USAID program, um, I traveled the length and breadth of the country and especially at that time it was called the Bimaru States, what, 22 years ago. And uh, at that time I realized that there is only so much that you can do in terms of NGO work mm. or there's only so much that you can do in terms of your contribution for let's say um, some policy issue. But for real change to happen, you have to be a policy maker. Yeah. So uh, my grandfather, my Nana is from the RSS. So I had seen him work in the social sector yeah. uh, through organizations, agencies. The issue was what precipitated and what carried forward was that till such time you don't change policy. You can keep contributing. It's like putting your efforts into a black hole. Yeah. You never know when nothing comes out. So I decided I want to be a policymaker and that's why I joined a political organization. 
and uh, because I had a Sanghi background, um, it was very natural that I kind of associate with the Bharatiya Janata Party. And I think that I also liked to associate with the organization because my way of thinking, my way of working found resonance with a lot of people in the leadership. Nobody told me, aise karna hai, waise karna hai, aise utho, aise bolo. And I think that sense of confidence as a politician is only generated when you give people space. Yeah. And uh, for me, that is how I started my journey in Bhartiya Janata Party. I mean, I started with leaderships like um, Gopinath Munde, who's no more, Pramod Mahajan, who's no more. Yeah. Never was I told, Kya you're a female in politics. Or you're new in politics, ye mat karna, mat karna. The first thing I asked, I remember, I asked Mr. Munde, I said, sir, at that time he was leading in Maharashtra the efforts of the organization. And I said, what would you have me do? How can I contribute? And he said, what are you most passionate about? I said, gender and children's health. And, you know, so he said, we do not see women in young women in the youth campaigns. So can we make uh, in we at that time organizationally 55 districts? He said, Kya aap yuti pramukh la sakte hain har zile mein? Somebody must be talented enough to want a political career. Yeah. And I said, sir, give me six months. He said, six months? I said, you know, I need six months because I, he said, no, but I thought you'll take a year, two years because you have to travel the entire state. I said, no, I'll just give me six months. I'll travel the entire state. I'll go from district to district and I'll find you those women. And we did find. The seventh month, they were introduced as Yuti Pramoks in BJP Maharashtra. That's amazing. So that's 55 careers that began. Yeah. And I think in your generation, uh, there weren't that many women who were recognized in the field of politics. I had the good fortune. I, bega I began in the youth wing of the BJP in Maharashtra. I was five times in the national executive of the BJP. From Atal Bihari Vajpayee being the prime minister to the time that Narendra Bhai is prime minister. I've been the National Secretary of BJP twice, the National Vice President of BJP, and I was also the BJP Women's Wing National President. And I remember when I became National uh, President for the Women's Wing, Nitin Gadkari ji was the President. And I walked up to him and I said, listen, I sir need uh, help. And he just looked at me, he said, why do you need help? I said, no, I need to pick women uh, which I think have, who I think have capacity across the country, but they need to be from diverse fields. So he looked at me, he said, but who's stopping you? I said, no, I thought there must be some code of picking people who are office bearers. Karo, karo. And people who I picked today are ministers. Pick Menakshi Lake, he introduced her to politics. She's now the foreign minister, minister of state. I picked Darshana Jardosh. Correct. She's now minister of state for textiles. Who else? Pratima Bhaumik, the first woman uh, minister from Tripura, was a part of my team. I mean, there have been a lot of people. Many, many. I think this so is... I, I think what is uh, satisfying about my career with, with the issue of gender is that there are so many women leaders that I could yeah. kind of bring to the fore in Indian politics. I think there is special kind of satisfaction. Of course. Like can you imagine. can become a leader, but what about the others? Yeah. If you can pro provide them with an opportunity. So yeah. I'm, I'm happy when I see all these women take over. I'm like, my team member, my team member. Yeah, it must be such a moment of pride. It is, it is. It is to, because all these women that I've named did not have a political background. But you're also self-made in this field anyway. Yes, but I, I'm of the opinion that the best way to give back is to create more leaders. Of course. And I'm glad that I uh, had the opportunity in my organization to do that. That is brilliant. We actually watched an interview of yours where you said that in the middle of shoot you had a break day and you no, went I never had a break day if you have a lunch hour yeah like I've run off today right now while everybody's lunching yeah to do this interview uh, the only difference is that when I was an activist I used to run away from shootings when every actor would sit and eat I would go out and do a dharna so in a dharna one day I got arrested <laughs> So my production guy freaked. <laughs> he like, jail. And anybody who knows uh, the media, your production, your schedule are going crazy. Yeah. Because they are paying technicians per shift. 
एंड यू आर कॉलिंग द हेड ऑफ कैमरा एंड सिंग बॉस संभाल लेना किसी और का क्लोज काट ले तो जेल में है हमने कहा ठीक है मुझे छोड़ेंगे छोड़ेंगे आई स्टिल रिमेम्बर दैट दे यंग मी ऑफ टू जेल एंड सडनली एंड आई आई रिमेम्बर आई वी शूडिंग विद आजमी कभी बहुत ही शेड्यूल और शाउटिंग देन अच्छा सच अ कनाइवा विद द ड्रेस इन चार्ज सो कॉस्ट्यूम इन चार्ज इज देयर मोहम्मद भाई स्टिल रिमेम्बर ड्रेस मैन मोहम्मद भाई हीरोइन को कितना टाइम लग रहा है अच्छा इतना टाइम लग उसके कपड़े कितने बजे तक प्रेस होंगे इतने बजे फिर उसको मेकअप करना अच्छा इतने बजे मैंने कहा तू क्यों पूछ रही है मैंने कहा क्यों मैं जेल में जा रही तो इसीलिए उसका कपड़ा तभी पहुँचाना जब तक मैं अपना कागज वागज यहाँ कर रही हूँ एंड आई रिमेम्बर बिटवीन दी camera person the dress guy the scheduler and the production head four people shouting kya ho raha hai i sat down at the police station i was like acha theek hai chaliye bhai sahab it was me nitin gadkari got arrested kirit somaya in bombay got arrested and i was like boss tum log to senior ho humko to bail denge they like nahi nahi chinta mat karo and suddenly i saw this whole bunch of women descend at the uh, at the police station हमने ये औरतें हमको धरना देना कहते नहीं नहीं ये सब पुलिस वालों की बीवी है तुलसी को कैसे अरेस्ट कर तुलसी को अरेस्ट कैसे किया कहते वो धरना करती थी क्यों हमारे अधिकारों के लिए लड़ रही मेरे कह रहे भैया जल्दी निकालो क्या हो गया मैंने वो बा वेट करेगी बाकी सबको धर के बैठो इस औरत को जाने दो बाबा बहुत हेड एक है फिर कितनी देर में छोड़ा I was 45 minutes away from my shoot. So I think the minute I landed the police station the women landed immediately. I I think 40 45 minutes. Hmm. Not bad. Not bad. Ha. Huh. So <laughs> ran bad. one and a half hours late. Na <laughs> production guy looking at her tere paise kaat lo main se kaat kaat chalega. So I mean those are fantastic memories. Of course I can imagine have. you'll so always have one photo to tell. There is one photo of Congress party loves to use of mine which is द सिलेंडर लेके बैठी है जिस वन फोटो गया आई एम एन अ वाइट साड़ी एंड आई एम होल्डिंग अ सिलेंडर आई हेड रन अवे फ्रॉम अ शूट विद विक्टर बैनर्जी विक्टर बैनर्जी यूज टू हैव अ लॉन्ग लंच सो आई टू द प्रोडक्शन कह रहे कितना टाइम लगेगा मैंने कहा मैडम तीन घंटा है मेरे कहा मेरे को धरना देना है मुझे कुछ हो गया तो मैंने कहा नहीं कुछ नहीं होगा मेरे को धरना देना है तो मेरा शॉर्ट कब है आपका शॉर्ट मैडम आएगा शाम को ऐसे इसका मतलब थ्री आवर्स प्लस अनदर फोर फाइव आवर्स ऐसे ऐसे मतलब आराम से सात आठ घंटे है हाँ ऐसे गुड 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 ये सब कहाँ जा रहे हैं आई थिंक धर्मतला नाम की जगह है कोलकाता में मैं गई धरना वरना दिया पुलिस ने उठा के अंदर कर दिया देखते बारा जी बोले कहा गई बेंगोली फिल्म कॉल अमृता दो सौ लोग जेल में एंड आई रिमेम्बर दो सौ लोग जेल में एंड सम मिक्सअप हैपन विद पेपर्स So one ninety nine people could not be released for a good six seven hours, and I was sitting in jail. And Victor Banerjee was outside. So what is wrong? There with is this my woman? Woman. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, I've done all of that. And how was it like managing a political career while you were still acting? That must have been really hectic, right? Like in between. I think that when you are very very grateful for opportunities, it just happens. Hmm. I mean, if I had sat down and thought, "Arey, yah, shooting, how to do it? Politics, how to do it?" I would never get anything done. Hmm. I think we waste a lot of time moping. I don't have the time to mope. I was just going to ask you that. I, apparently, we Sorry. read that you also went back to work like just a couple of days after delivering your Three baby. Three days. And then you were also working on the day of your wedding. Is that true? Yeah. What keeps this hustle alive? Like, what motivates you to be Because this I much of a hustler? Poor. Hmm. If you've been poor, if you've never had money, then you take every opportunity to work. And the hardy kamani ki koi opportunity gari baad ni kabi nahi chhodta. So today we are sitting here. I was born in Lady Harding, which is what, 50 kilometers from here. Yeah. Okay. So my father got a room in Munir Ka, on the top of the Munir Ka, on the top of the Munir Ka. He had 150 rupees. So my birth is here, 5 kilometers away, and the government hospital is here. तबेले ऊपर से जिंदगी शुरू हुई है टेंट वाले स्कूल में कक्षा पाँच तक पढ़ती थी और हम जैसे लोगों को अगर तुम बोलो कि दिन की दिहाड़ी छोड़ दो उसको तो हार्ट अटैक हो जाएगा एंड यू डोंट लीव अपॉर्चुनिटीज ये अलग बात है बहुत कम लोग उस तबेले से यहाँ तक पहुँचते हैं दैट्स बिकॉज गरीबी आपके ऊपर एक अजीब और गरीब प्रेशर क्रिएट करता है करेक्ट और आई वॉज वेरी क्लियर कि 
uh, I will not let that pressure overwhelm me. Now, from, I think when I was seven years old, I told my mom, I said, you know, I'll be a big shot one day. My mother said, your mind is bad. Then you have to see that I will be a big person. And the first time I said it, I was seven years old. Wow. So, so at seven, seven you knew that literally everyone in India is going to know who you are. That's at when seven, you reached. I knew I'll be a big shot. Yeah. And I remember when I was 17, is the first time I went to Bombay. It was called Bombay then. And I remember there's a Kamla Nehru Park there. There's a Jute ka ek achha so monument type. Bana hua hai. और मुझे याद है मेरी कजिन्स थे माँ पीछे खड़ी थी कोई तो खड़ा था मैंने कहा पता है एक दिन ये शहर मुझे जानेगा मेरी माँ ने एक और थप्पड़ मारा कि तुमको पता है शहर कितना बड़ा है मैं ऐसे नो नो बट यू नो दिस होल सिटी विल वन डे नो मी दिस कंट्री विल नो मी सो आई एम शॉर माय मदर थॉट आई एम आ माय कजिन्स I think it takes implicit faith that you have to have in yourself and of course the universe as well while you're doing it. I think people, your universe resonates what you say. Yeah. Agreed. 100%. It, it gives you back what you say. So if I told the universe, Arey Bhagawan, I just said, itni naukri de do ki ek bihaari nikal jai, to Bhagawan kaya, okay. Hamaari maa ne humko sikhaya tha ki Bhagawan din mein ek bar tathastu bolta hai. Uso. Koi gadma usse nahi nikal nahi chahiye. To you, I mean, it was an indication that no matter what happens, always say something when you are exasperated. Never say something negative for yourself. Yeah, I'm going to take this with yeah, me. Yeah, because, hey, Bhagawan, take it. Bhagawan, okay, Tathas, do it. That's a very profound thought, actually. Bhagawan, one day, Tathas, do it. Bhagawan, one day, 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 अपने लिए भला नहीं मांग सकते तो अपने लिए बुरा मत बहुत लोगों की टेंडेंसी होती है और कितना करोगे भगवान हम भी देखते हैं अरे मत करो चैलेंज आई शुड टेल पीपल है भगवान तुम्हारी क्लास ले लेगा पूरी की पूरी मत करो मेनी पीपल थिंक दैट इट्स अ सेंस ऑफ ब्रावाडू यू नो आई हैव बीन थ्रू दिस एंड � that your universe will resonate yeah. and give you back what you say, what you believe. Yeah, because there's a quote that says, when you spell it out, it casts a spell. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. But I think that, um, I don't know where I got the belief, but I'm glad that I had it because God has never let me down. I, it's not that I, everything has been very nice and it's a yes, Chopra film happening now. But, that, that's but not I think that what has been great is I've not lost heart. I've not lost the capacity to bounce back and say, Chala, ab aap is bolo kya? He's like, you know, the Duracell bunny, you must go marte ro, marte ro, khada ho jata hai, khada ho jata hai. One of those people. The log jo marte hain, wohi thak jate hain ki, yaar, chodo. Chodo, I mean, she's going to bounce back. I remember 2014, mein, mein bhoat bada neta hai, wo, mein unka naam nahi le sakti. To, unho ne, a good 10 years, Hamesha negativity rakhi. Are you an actor? Hmm, hmm. You don't have any politics. We will teach you types. So, I said, not say anything back because I knew that I don't want to get caught in somebody else's negative cycle. And I remember a call in 2014 and he said, Okay, you made education, Mantri. You will do it. For me, that was like, Thank you, Vaisa. Because that is, an, that is an admission by somebody who's trying to beat you down for a decade to say, damn it, I could not beat you. Yeah. He I gave up. He elated. Yeah. Huh. So that's why I said, I'm like that Duracell bunny rabbit. You keep hitting me, I keep coming back. Till you get exhausted. I never do. And if you've seen the, I don't know whether your generation has ever seen a movie called Rocky. Have you? Yeah. That is what Rocky does. Yeah. Keep hitting him, hitting him, hitting him, till one day he goes, cut. So that's what I do. That's amazing. Ma'am, how does it feel to be famous, to be known by everybody? And how has it impacted your family, your fame? I think that it's my choice to be Smriti Rani, but not my family's. And I think that when they face the brunt for it, uh, it is the most hurtful experience. 
because you decide to bring your kids into the world they have no um say in that decision yeah. you decide i'll become this they bear the consequences so as far as mr irani goes it's a joint decision i'm going to do this that that kids never had a say in any decision about my career about how i am as a person and i would never tone down so i think that it's okay to have me as your parents friends it is catastrophic to have me for a mom <laughs> i have very very high standards of do's and don'ts i uh have very strong opinions and when you become a minister you sacrifice every relationship because the rule of law is what matters yeah and the biggest biggest impact it has is on your kids i would because imagine because i remember when i was minister of education my son was in board in the 10th standard that year was the toughest maths paper and zor came and he said it was the toughest maths paper in the history of education it became an issue in parliament and my son after the exam walked in and he said aapne isliye kiya kyunki main beta hu aapka oh and looked at him and said nahi isliye nahi kiya he said mama it was damn tough yeah so it is not because of you but for your kid to be told at school ki teri maa kyunki she is above board isliye teri maa ne tough paper kar diya and he's like meri maa paper set nahi karti <laughs> <laughs> you know she's a mantri she yeah but for your kid to go through that when he's in standard 10 that's a lot and the whole school congregates and everybody in section 10 congregates and everybody people he doesn't know randomly was shruti rani ka beta na teri maa ne kiya ye like so he came and said you can't you know, undo that yeah. scar right on your kid so i'm very lucky that my kids have been more than accommodating i'm very lucky that my kids are down to earth my kids do not follow social hierarchy which many politicians do they don't hang with politicians kids they don't hang as per social hierarchy i remember when they came to delhi first kisi ne jaake unko bol diya wo mere bacche ghar ke bahar ek garden mein driver ke bacche the chaukidar ke bacche the baaki jo house helps the sab सबको इकट्ठा करते मतलब मतलब नेतागिरी खून में सबको इकट्ठा करके क्रिकेट खेल रहे थे तो किसी नेता के बेटे ने उनको बुलाया साइड में अपनी गाड़ी में कहे जोर ये मत करो तो मैंने कहा क्यों उसके नहीं नहीं हम लोग कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन क्लब में जाते हैं तो वहाँ अपनी बहन को लेके वहाँ अलग से खेलेंगे एंड माई किड्स वॉक टेन दिसन वी डोंट बिलीव इन दिस क्रैप विच हैपन इन डेली अगर मेरे मोहल्ले में जो बच्चे रहते हैं वो कभी किसी कुक के हैं धोबी के बच्चे हैं या मोची के बच्चे हैं मैं उनके साथ क्रिकेट खेलूँगा मैं सोशल हैराकी के हिसाब से नहीं खेलने वाला एंड दी फैक्ट नाइन ईयर्स हाउ ओल्ड वॉज ही ट्वेल्व ईयर्स ओल्ड माई डॉटर वॉज टेन डे बोथ वॉटर टेल अ डेली क्राउड बगर ऑफ I was very proud as well. Of course, but bad. I think that's all a result of the nurture and how they the value the system they've been that raised with as well. The twelve-year-old can come and have that conversation with their mother, right? Yeah, mama, this is wrong. Yeah. When we are so every time they used to get hassled, they would tackle it on their own. And I think I have that. I used to have that guilt, but now when I look at it as a parent, I think that at a very young age they knew how to handle people's toxicity. It's like they were just built to be your kids. They like battle axes. Yeah. And at times they're more uh, in terms of strength more than their mother. Like how they wonderful. feel कुछ गलत है मतलब हमारे यहाँ पे होता है कि मेरा ये जिंदगी भर ये रहा है मैं उसी के पैर छूँगी जिसके प्रति मेरे मुझे सम्मान हो जिसके नहीं हो दिखावा करने के लिए मैंने आज तक किसी के पैर नहीं छुए मैंने अपने बच्चों को ये सब नहीं सिखाया था क्योंकि हिंदी में एक शब्द है उद्दंड तो यार तुम इतना वो घमंडी हो सी मैंने इट्स डिफरेंट वैन यूर नो बडी स्मृति ईरानी बनने के बाद तुम बोल सकते हो अरे यार मैं नहीं छुए हूँ देन यूर नो बडी पीपल सारे तुम्हारी औकात है ये बोलने की My kids are the same thing. कि पैर कोई छुएगा नहीं मम्मी के पोलिटिकली और हम भी नमस्ते कर लेंगे जी <laughs> हमको किसी को मक्खन नहीं मारना अगर आपको उसका भुगतान करना पड़ेगा सॉरी लेकिन हम ये नहीं करेंगे 
no buying branded clothes no buying branded bags branded nothing we are like aise rahenge if you are acceptable by the elite crowd good not acceptable too bad your problem so in that i see a part of me but i think that is also the nurturing of a self made parent you know given that it is also came. genes yeah because i think <laughs> zubin is far more diplomatic than i am i am very blunt we love that we love yeah, you for it he is very very diplomatic so i think that it's his parenting also but i think that uh, stout belief ye galat hai nahi hoga that possibly is my genes those are great genes to have uh, i think it's a great <laughs> sure balance to have i'm sure you're not complaining yeah it's a great balance to have you know we of course i've been following you on instagram for many many years now and the one thing that really resonates with me is that it's not manicured you know it's authentically who you are right yeah. uh it's not managed by uh-huh. an agency or anything like that we know that whenever you're putting up something it is truly who you are and it's a representation of you is that a conscious choice because you find it too cumbersome to just be someone else nobody can be in charge of my words and my expressions i have never ever even when i was an actor there were times when i would get a script and i would call it and i'll say ye na it doesn't make sense all the um, resurrections and the plastic surgeries you were like this no, is no, banana no, if you go back and you see my dialogue you'll suddenly see that acha even in that madness what i was saying was to make sense hmm. or i would not say anything i just got pages and pages of dialogue and this nonsense i think that i managed to have a two and a half decade career because i said what i felt people especially your audience do cheeze give away your truth your voice and your eyes yeah and i always used to tell actors ki tumhari aankhon se pata chal jayega tumhari public ko tumhari awaaz se pata chal jayega jhoot bol rahe ho kya soch rahe ho so that's why you were like my words are mine this is how i'm going i know to be. that my twitter is for my political pronouncements i know instagram is me hmm and then how do you handle the trolls when they come at you you just don't care i don't karo karo kya farak padta hai that's because somebody is venting because they have some problems somewhere people are not designed to be fundamentally mean yeah that's true so either they have genuinely a problem an emotional issue at home or their relationships or they have an ideological issue and they just think that you manifest what you what they hate yeah ठीक है मेरी बला से मूव ऑन हम बोलते हैं ना वी आर ऑल विक्टिम्स ऑफ विक्टिम्स ओनली आई डोंट लाइक द विक्टिम हुड प्ले एट ऑल बिकॉज़ इट कीप्स यू बैक फ्रॉम अचीवमेंट फेयर एनफ एंड आई से दिस वेरी रेजोल्युटली बिकॉज़ आई हैव बीन फ्रॉम द ट्रेंचेस यू नो व्हेन पीपल से आपके लिए तो आसान है मैं बहन जी आई हैव बीन पुअर आई हैव हैड प्रॉब्लम्स विद नॉट हैविंग फूड एंड नॉट हैविंग मनी टू पे रेंट या so mai i because i'm from the trenches i can speak this way but why would someone say asan hai matlab your story to is the most difficult i think matlab you know i don't think my story is that well known everybody thinks that my story begins when i became tulsi yeah so uske pehle ka kisi ko kuch pata hi nahi hai aapne kabhi socha hai aap likhoge iske bare mein about your life people forget people aap kitne logo ka dekhte hain shraddhanjali devi mahan the mar gaye apna ghar wale aapko nahi rakhenge 24 ghante कभी भी मृत्यु के बाद किसी की डेड बॉडी उसके घर में रही है चौबीस घंटे से ज़्यादा न no. जब जो लोग के साथ आप पलते हो बढ़ते हो शादी करते हो वो आपको छोड़ देते हैं चौबीस घंटे में दुनिया कहाँ याद रखेगी या आपको नहीं रखेंगे याद खुश फहमी है लोगों की <laughs> कितने लोग हैं मुझसे पहले <laughs> तुम आज कहती हो कि मैं प्रतिमूर्ति हूँ महिला की सुषमा स्वराज नहीं थी अफकोर्स अफकोर्स इसीलिए कहते हैं लोग भूल जाते हैं अपने निकाल देंगे घर से डेड बॉडी हो जाएगी राम राम सत्य करके निकाल देंगे कितने लोग हैं आप फ्यूनरल पे जाओ या तो गॉसिप कर रहे होते हैं या व्हाट्सएप पे लगे रहते हैं है ना और आया कौन है फ्यूनरल पे तुम्हारे वो जो कहते हैं तुम्हारे दोस्त हैं तुम्हारे रिश्तेदार हैं फोन पे नहीं भेजाते कितने लोग हैं जो अच्छे ढंग के कपड़े पहन के आएंगे बाल सवार के आएंगे कार्ड के अच्छे से अगर आप बहुत अमीर हो जो मर गए हो तो अच्छे सारे ज्वेलरी पहन के आएंगे नहीं होता 
जब कोई मरता है तो अगर वाकई में तुम्हारा अपना है तुम्हारे पास टाइम होगा लिपस्टिक लगाने का ज्वेलरी पहनने का डेथ एंड इफ यू लूज समी इज सच अ स्ट्रॉन्ग इमोशन यू जस्ट डोंट कैन यू गेट ओवर इट कैन यू गेट बैक टू इंस्टाग्राम एंड फ्लिप कैन यू लुक एट यूर ट्विटर फीड हेम यू पीपल डू एट सो मुझे ये खुशफहमी नहीं है कि मुझे बहुत कोई याद करेगा बड़े मत सब याद करेंगे वो तेल भी हो जाएगी पहली बारी डेथ एनिवर्सरी में कोई सोच लेगा उसके बाद भूल जाएंगे सब तो ये गलत फहमी किसी को नहीं होनी चाहिए मूव ऑन ये दिस इज दिस इज हाउ गोना टाइटल दिस दिस इज मूव ऑन या मूव ऑन जस्ट मूव ऑन वी गोना एंड दिस आर अ वेरी लाइट नोट प्लीज डोंट डू रैपिड फायर लाइक करण जोहर नो नो इट्स नॉट रैपिड फायर यू आर अ नेपो गेट नो नो एंड यू डोंट इवन हैव अ बास्केट ऑफ एनीथिंग टू गिव मी यू हैव कम टू माय हाउस आई डू आई हैव कम और तूने मेरे घर में ये सब किया है और तूने पैसे बचाए हैं तू नेपो किड है और तू कंजूस भी है नहीं मैं लाई हूँ आपके लिए बास्केट पर नॉन सेंस पॉलिटिशियन को कोई बास्केट नहीं दे सकते तुम और हम बच्चों से लड़कियों से तो बिल्कुल कुछ नहीं लेते आगे बोलो मैं मैं तुम्हारा रोस्ट कौन करेगा तुम्हारा एक भी गेस्ट मेरी तरह होगा ना ना जो तुमको रोस्ट करेगा वो तुम्हारे साथ ऐसे बाल करती रहोगी वो तुम्हारे साथ बैठ के बोरिंग कॉन्वर्सेशन करे मैं लिख के दे रही हूँ तुमको ये तो मुझे बड़ा मजा आया हाँ चलो तुम्हारे पास ऑप्शन नहीं है तुमने अगर बोला मजा नहीं आया तुम्हारी माँ ने तुमको डंडा मार देना <laughs> चलो अच्छा मैं आपसे कोई रैपिड फायर नहीं पूछ रही बट क्योंकि आप बहुत इंटरनेट सावी हो तुम्हें ऐसा लगता है नहीं ऐसा मैंने देखा है कि अच्छा। मैं बहुत टाइम से आपको फॉलो कर रही हूँ तो मैं आपसे कुछ जेन जी टर्म्स पूछूंगी प्लीज मेरे को कुछ नहीं आएगा इसमें मुझे, मुझे बेवकूफ करार मत दो इस देश अच्छा जस्ट थ्री नहीं मुझे जेन जी मिलेनिया ये सब नहीं आता समझ ट्राई तो करूँ नहीं बिल्कुल नहीं करना है अपना कोई लेना देना नहीं अट्ठारह साल के ऊपर से उम्र के हो वोट करते हो तो जाओ वोट करो बस अमेठी के हो तो तुम पूछो मैं अभी तुम्हारे लिए जैन जी मिले नहीं ऐसा पूछो अमेठी से नहीं हो मुझे नहीं सीखना तुमसे अरे मैं आपको पूछूं आपको रेड फ्लैग का मतलब पता था हाँ रेड फ्लैग मालूम है क्या है ठीक है बस नहीं बता अच्छा हां यू हैव रेड फ्लैग दिस मैडम यू हैव रेड फ्लैग दैट्स व्हाई आई कीप रेड फ्लैगिंग अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स हां या एंड इफ आई आस्क यू व्हाट इज व्हाट इट इज टू गोस्ट समवन ओह यस आई नो दैट सी यू नो एवरीथिंग ऑफ कोर्स आई नो दिस इज सच बेसिक थिंग्स आई एम आस्किंग यू बट गोस्टिंग समबडी आई डिडंट नो वाज सच अ जीके क्वेश्चन लाइक इट्स नॉट जीके इट्स फन व्हाट गोस्टिंग इज नॉट फन एट ऑल इट्स नॉट फन टू बी एनी सर्टेन एक्सपीरियंसिंग टू दिस पर्टिकुलर कॉन्वर्सेशन इट इज प्लीज डोंट गोस्ट इट इज इट इज एन इंडिकेशन ऑफ टू थिंग्स यू डोंट हैव कॉरेज One, you don't have courage, so chhod do. You don't have decency. Yeah, I agree. It's quite. Okay, courage is the next thing. Decency yeah. is the first thing. I didn't do that. Nobody can go. Good girl. What happened? You had to chop it. But why just have an there. uncomfortable conversation and say the truth? Haan, what do you want to do? Move on, but have that. Be decent. If not for the other person, yeah. for yourself, how can you carry that burden? Haan, so I know red flag. I know ghost. Oh. Yeah. So if we ask you, do you know the meaning of goat? G O A T. Oh, but, God of all. नहीं <laughs> अभी भी वही चल रहा है थॉट्स आर द सेम ओनली और अगर मैं आपसे पूछूं आईआरएल इन रियल लाइफ आई नो आर आई पी वो तो नहीं यूज करना पड़े वैसे ही मेरे बहुत लोग यूज करते हैं आसपास आफ्टर आई एम डन विद देम आर आई पी ओह माय गॉड बस देखो सो सिंपल दिस वाज नॉट बैड नॉट बैड जी सभी यू स्कोर वेरी वेल Not bad. मैंने बोला था बहुत सारी Of course मैं हूँ intelligent. Thank you so much, ma'am. Yes, I know sure. we really, really. Bani, I wish time. you a lot of success. Thank you. For two reasons. One, you could have been a brat. You not. Thank you. And I think it's a huge, and I'm being complimentary of my friends, but it's a huge compliment to your value systems. Completely. And second, uh, my advice to you: please get more interesting people. Can you recommend some? Of course, after the cameras are off. Done. Thank, so thank you. you for the conversation. Thank you so much. Mm-hmm.